Alrighty, everybody, let's show you how to flash Rasta Cat onto your Nexus 5. So, first things first, in the uh, description below this video, I'll have a couple of links, one of which is to the actual ROM thread itself over on XDA. The second one's going to be to the Paranoid Android G apps. Um, uh, Google Plus post. So make sure when you go to download it, you're actually downloading the 4.4.2 GApps package, all right? Because obviously this is based off 4.4.2. Once you've downloaded those, make sure that you plug your device into your PC and drag and drop those files into your internal storage. Once you've gone ahead and done that, power your device off to where it looks like this. And what we're gonna do is boot into recovery. And in order to boot into recovery, if I can actually, I haven't booted into recovery for a couple of, for a week or so now. So let's see if I can remember. Uh, I believe it was, power power plus volume down let's see if that works just double check there that worked out well okay so then we're gonna be using our volume down rocker to navigate to recovery mode and then you're gonna be pressing your power button as the enter key so we're gonna go ahead and jump into our recovery I happen to be using TWRP and that's what we're gonna be going with this time around we'll wait for that to boot in there eventually hopefully sometime today because I do have to go pick up my wife from work soon Alrighty, and here we are. So first things first, as I always say, we're gonna jump into install and you guys are gonna actually drag, uh, scroll on down and make sure that you can locate that actual ROM file as well as the gapps file. Uh, Cause you don't wanna wipe your device and then have no ROM to flash to. So um, what I'm gonna do is double check. Uh, I actually use my little USB OTG here. So if I can figure out which way it actually went in, whoops, wrong way, there we go. Oh, oh boy, I'm pressing buttons, I probably shouldn't. Uh, so like I said before, I'm gonna be double checking to make sure that it is in fact installed on my uh, storage here and that would be located in my Nexus 5 under ROMs and there it is, Rastacat, good stuff. Okie dokie, so now that we've confirmed that we have the files, you can go ahead and click on wipe and by swiping to wipe, it's gonna be doing a factory data reset by wiping all of the data, your cache as well as your Dalvit cache. So, um, of course, make an Android backup if you feel it's necessary, just in case you wanna go back to your old, um, ROM and so on, but I don't care. So I'm gonna be f swiping to wipe. Swiping and wiping, I suppose you could say. So we've done that nice and quick. Let's go ahead and head back to the ROM itself, which we have located there already, ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that. But because this is TWRP, we can add more files. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I am going to back out to where I have my gapps files located. So as you can see, PA gapps stock 4.4.2. Go ahead and highlight that. We've got two files loaded up, ready to go now. So I'm gonna go ahead and swipe to flash. And again, this will take just a moment. So we'll be back in just a second as soon as this is done flashing. Alrighty, and it looks like we're done flashing. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove my USB OTG there. And at this point, all you have to do is just simply click on reboot system. Uh, if this happens to pop up, it says install super SU because your device dis uh, appears to not be rooted. Um, some developers say don't do it. Some developers say do it. Um, I always say don't install. And then 99% of the time, I in fact do have root and super user installed. Uh, if, if there's a slight chance that you don't in fact have root afterwards, it'll still boot into the ROM, but if you do in fact don't have root afterwards, um, it's really easy. Just go ahead and locate my how to root your Nexus 5. Um, we're gonna be using, it, you'll be using Chainfire's uh, CF auto root. It's stupid easy. It takes you literally two minutes to do. Um, but anyways, after this, it'll boot into the setup wizard and you're running Rastacat and that's, that's that. Anyways, guys, uh, hopefully you found this easy. Hopefully you found it useful. If you did and you like this video, click that likes button down below. And if you're new to the channel, always subscribe for more videos in the future. But that's it for this one, though, guys. Thanks, as always, for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.